Mika. Mika, keep going. Keep going. I can't believe this workout did me in. It all comes down to tonight. Yeah, it's just been a business trip this whole time. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Come on in. <laughs> this is how I start off most of my days. Playing Fortnite, most of you already know that. But you're probably asking yourself, Adam, bro, are you telling me you brought your PS5 to Jamaica and then you also brought it straight to Peru afterwards? And I'm gonna say yes. And that may sound weird because you're like, oh, you wanna go see the, the culture and stuff? Well, I do see the culture. Also, here's the thing about Fortnite. Anyone who's played Fortnite knows how competitive it is. You can't just take two weeks, two and a half weeks off. You're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose your skill. You're gonna lose your secret sauce. So really like I can't play enough Fortnite to get better at the game. All I can do is play just enough Fortnite to stay at the same level that I am now. You know, it's more of a maintenance thing. So I just gotta at least log on for an hour a day, play a little bit of Fortnite, maintain my skill. This little guy. Yeah. Right now, are gonna do what we do normally every day. There's this like nice little bakery place like right around the corner from where we're staying. So we go there, we get coffee, we get some breakfast, then we go for a run. So we're gonna go do that. Yeah. Okay guys, we're here at the coffee shop. Pretty sure this is like a locals only place. Don't even know the name of it, but we're gonna get a latte, croissants of some kind. Yeah, should be good. We usually do this every morning before our run. Um, Spanish isn't great, I've been practicing it. I'll let you guys take a look at that here shortly, but. Okay guys, you're about to witness Spanish 1, Spanish 2 at work. Hola señorita, buenos días. Uh, me das dos lates y dos croissants, por favor. <laughs> yeah, gracias. Sí, gracias. She laughed at me, I don't know why. Buenos días, dos lates. Yeah. Easy peasy. Bag secured. Yeah, welcome to Peru, everybody. Training update. Let me tell you guys where I'm at. Let's just say... It ain't looking good, bruv. I mentioned before in a previous video that I'm on this training arc, and I was on this training arc, but man, my body, things are just coming up and it's just not going well. I haven't been feeling very good. I've been a little bit low key under the weather. So um, it ain't been looking too good, but I will say um, this is just life. This is just like a part of, you know, being an everyday athlete is kind of juggling all these things. So I never said it was gonna be easy. I only said it was gonna be worth it. We're hoping that there is a rainbow at the end of this tunnel. I'm sure there will be. We're having a good time running um, these lighter workouts for now. Just having fun running and just running mileage every day and stuff. It's been really great. So uh... yeah, it's fine. I just get, I just get a little like, I just want to train hard every day. You guys know how it is. I want to wake up. I want to get up early. I want to do my workouts. I want to put in weeks on weeks on weeks of good workout every day getting a little bit better. I haven't been able to do that and I still haven't been able to do that, but we are going to get there. You know, as much as I want to be killing it and running PBs and, you know, training and just having the time of my life, I just have to remind myself that it's just running and it ain't that deep. So. You don't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, deep. <laughs> it's deep and it's hurting. All right. Uh, Adam, why the heck are you in Peru? And I'm going to tell you why. We are here because the Adam show is no more. Um, it's over. It's gone. It's done with. It is Mika's world and we're all just living in it at the moment, especially myself, because that's what good husbands do. Let's go, Mika! 
Mika has the Proving National Championships. This is her first national championships. If you want to be selected to run internationally for Peru, you have to run at the national championship meet. Next, you guys probably saw that we were in Jamaica last week, okay? We were in Jamaica not because we were partying. We were in Jamaica because it was a business trip, okay? Puma, you know, the running athletic brand, Puma flew us out to Jamaica because they were unveiling the Jamaican kits and there's the boys and girls track and field championships there. Oh, is this like a long-term sponsorship? Are you guys finally sponsored? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. No long-term sponsorship from Puma. You know, Puma, if you're watching this, my DMs are open. Just kidding. My Namika's goal is to run competitively. You know, to do that, we have had to work to support our running and our travel and all that stuff. So the thing about that is we have to make the most of all of our experiences when we go to races, such as the Peruvian National Championship. So that being said, we do have a workout. We're going to the place where Mika will be racing. So we're gonna scope out the course for her, uh, get an up close and personal look there. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys there. It's been a while since I've done one of these before. So hopefully I remember. Estamos aquí in Peru, as they say here locally. Okay, so we got a few things going on at the moment. Let me fill you guys in. For the past little bit, your boy has not been feeling too good in training or in workouts so much so that we're probably gonna head to a doctor here maybe when i get back to the states nothing crazy i'm not gonna tell you guys my symptoms or anything like that because then the internet doctors are gonna be trying to diagnose me with stuff that i don't have so with that in mind you know i'm still running i'm still training but you know we've been going off of strictly just like vibes so today is kind of a vibey workout it's just a broken up tempo i got 10 by 600 with 200 meters jog recovery. The 600s are at like aggressive tempo pace. So the 200s can be at whatever pace feels good. So it could be six minute pace, seven minute pace, 5.30, kind of just whatever, but yeah, should be good. A death march out there. I can't believe this workout did me in. Dude, that workout was like weirdly hard. Weirdly hard. So I went backwards a little bit in the workout, which happens, you know. Honestly, at this point, I'm tired. <laughs> It's been a long travel trip. Mika's got a race in the next couple of days. Yeah, man, ended up with like nine-ish miles, eight-ish miles for the day. I probably should cool down longer, but like I'm just feeling like exhausted, honestly. Absolutely knackered. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna eat some food. We're gonna chill for the rest of the night and uh, get ready for Mika's race tomorrow, so. We're here at the Peruvian National Championships. This is why we're here. It all comes down to tonight. You know, it's just been a business trip this whole time. She's doing the 10K and 5K double. She's got the 10K and then the 5K the next day. I got my coach's get up, show the fit. We got the Regatas Track Club kit on. Yeah, I mean, Mika's ready for this. Uh, she's been feeling great down here. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's great. Oh, Mika's racing today. Oh, Mika's the one who has to race. Adam, why do you have your running clothes on? And I'll tell you what, while Mika's here on a business trip, your boy is also here on a business trip as well. And I'm in the business of getting fit. So that means I got my own mileage to run. So I'm gonna get in like a mile before her warm up, and then I'm gonna 
warm up with her and then, you know, call it a day. Go Mika! Mika, keep going! Okay, so we're back here in Utah. Let's welcome Mika Rivera to the channel. She's been on here before, so it's nothing special. But actually, you're special. Thoughts on the Peru trip, on the championships? Yeah, 10 out of 10 trip. It was a good time. Those type of answers aren't gonna, <laughs> aren't gonna make this very entertaining. The real reason I'm doing this part is because I didn't really film anything after the, uh, after the race. So this is kind of, a little update. You have your own YouTube channel, so you're gonna give like way more details later on, but tell us about how that went. I did the 10K on Friday and then the 5K on Saturday. I got to race again in front of my family. Oh, that's pretty good. I had good competition. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, you know, before I end this YouTube video, is there anyone special, you know, you wanna thank? Maybe someone who's supported you? through all these hard and difficult times of training and stuff. Oh yeah, thank you to all you guys, all the viewers, for all the kind comments and the support. Um, I appreciate you guys. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> just, just say your coach. Just say, oh yeah, you my coach. Literally a win for her feels like more than a win for me. Like I get more nervous for her races than I do mine. But I will say, let me make this extremely clear that when I get 100% healthy, the Adam show is gonna be back. It'll be in full force. We will be having PBs on PBs. I'm coming for it all. I don't know about comfort. <laughs> what is all? <laughs> I don't.